Uh, so I'm out here uh, in Masinga, and this uh, is my new friend Manyoto. Um, when we started drilling on Monday, I saw him here, and uh, you know, my heart was really broken. That uh, in in Kenya here, there's all kinds of projects for children. There's children's homes, feeding programs, all kinds of things for children. But uh, what do you do for the elderly and the seniors? You know, uh, my friend Manyoto here is uh, about 85 years old. He has no place to live. Uh, he stays in different people's houses, whoever will help him. He can't cook for himself, so whoever can help feed him. So uh, I just, when I drove home on Monday night, I just wept uh, about this situation. And uh, I know through Joseph and Veronica that there's some other uh, people who are in the same, same position out here. And there's nobody to look after them. So up in the corner of uh, the property here that we have, the two acres, there's another one acre uh, piece. Uh, that, an, that an elderly fellow lived on. Um, he passed away just recently and they buried him. Uh, his, his grave is right there beside where the little house was. And uh, we can buy that one acre piece for about $1,500. So we've got uh, Pastor Zomo looking into that so we can buy that. And, and I just really see the need that we can have a place for some of these senior citizens, that we can give them a little home to live in where they'll be close to the children and the people that are caring for the children. And uh, somebody can, you know, cook for them. Uh, we can give them a home with a little plot that they can have a little garden or something like that. So, so I just really see that as a, as a new thing. Uh, for now, I've uh, asked Joseph and Veronica to make sure that Manyoto gets at least two meals a day and we're going to get him some new clothes too because uh, he has no family and no one to look after him. And he's uh, not in very good shape. When I put my hand on his shoulder the other day, all I felt was skin and bones and I just knew that he... He was just not doing too good. So uh, I hope that some of you, you know, back in Canada, we have a lot of people, baby boomers, looking after their elderly parents and things right now. And, you know, the Bible says that we're supposed to honor our mother and our father. And, you know, some of us have to take that as to honor people like Manyoto, who, who, who doesn't have any children to look after him. And, and uh, also, we're going to have all these orphans here who don't have parents. And so the, the value that guys like this, uh, will be to be in this compound and be around them will just be amazing. So this is a new thing I'd like to uh, put out to people that we need to start looking after some of these senior citizens in conjunction with our children's home. There's no reason that they can't live together on the same compounds.